Today I'll be guiding you through the process of the installation of a Honeywell freestanding water cooler available in two models, HWBL1013 and HWBL1023. The installation process for both models is exactly the same. Remember, before connecting the unit to the power source, let it stand upright for approximately 24 hours. This will reduce the possibility of a malfunction in the cooling system from mishandling during delivery. Your new water cooler runs on 115 volt AC, 60 hertz current. Do not plug this product into 220 volt current. Only use three or five gallon water bottles on this water cooler. Do not operate the product with a damaged cord or plug. Using an extension cord is not recommended with this appliance. To unpack the unit for the first time, remove the straps. Then open the top of the box where you will find the owner's manual. Keep it at hand at all times. Remove all the foam and extra carton inside the box. Lift the box to uncover the unit. Remove the plastic cover and bottom foam. Now let's get to the function buttons. Press the cold switch on the back of the unit to turn on the cold function. The blue indicator light on the front panel will turn on. Press the hot switch to turn on the heating function. The red indicator light on the front panel will turn on. Do not turn on the hot function until the unit has water inside the tanks. Press down the cold room temperature or hot water tabs to dispense the desired water temperature. To use the hot water, slide the safety lock to the left side and simultaneously press down the tap. The drain cap is located on the back of the unit. Unscrew the drain cap and remove the rubber gasket to drain the water from the tanks. This unit features a light to indicate the water bottle is empty and requires replacement. It will light up approximately five minutes after the pump has run without pumping any water. The reset button is automatically activated when the door is closed. This will indicate to the unit that the water bottle has been replaced and the indicator light will turn off. Now let's install your water cooler for the first time. Ensure the unit is unplugged. Open the cabinet door and locate the hose with the quick connector, bottle cap and stainless steel tube. To install the water bottle pump connection, slide the bottle cap over the tube Attach the hose with the quick connector to the end of the stainless steel tube. Place the stainless steel tube inside the bottle with at least a gallon of water and press the bottle cap down on the opening of the bottle to secure it. Slide the bottle inside the cabinet. Make sure the bottle cap is properly closing the opening of the bottle and the quick connector is pushed all the way into the fitting end. Otherwise, the water may not be pumped. Plug the dispenser unit into the electrical outlet. Wait approximately five minutes to allow the water pump to fill the hot and cold tanks. If water is not being pumped, please refer to the troubleshooting guide in your owner's manual. Push each water tap to ensure water is running through the unit. Turn on the cold water switch, wait a couple of minutes, and turn on the hot water switch. Allow the unit to reach the minimum cold and hot water temperatures. You will know it has reached those temperatures when the red and blue indicator lights in front of the unit turn off. Press on the cold and hot taps once again to make sure both functions are properly working. Turn off the hot and cold water switches. Unplug the unit from the electrical outlet. Proceed to drain the water from the faucets one at a time until no more water remains. Open the drain cap and drain the water from the tanks. Do not tilt the unit to drain the water. Be careful, hot water may dispense from the drain cap. If a new water bottle was used for the procedure, your water cooler is now ready to be used. Plug the unit in again to the electrical outlet and repeat the process. Now let's go over instructions for replacing the water bottle. Open the cabinet and extract the empty bottle. Remove the pump connection all together and insert it into the new bottle. 
slide the bottle inside the cabinet making sure the pump connections are still well in place and close the door. Now your water cooler is ready to be used. If your unit is not working properly, please refer to the owner's manual or call the customer service number or email shown on the screen. Today I'll be guiding you through the process of the installation of a Honeywell freestanding water cooler available in two models, HWBL1013 and HWBL1023. The installation process for both models is exactly the same. Remember, before connecting the unit to the power source, let it stand upright for approximately 24 hours. This will reduce the possibility of a malfunction in the